welcome friends. We're now gonna have session two of yoga. In this position, we're gonna come from kneeling position to hands and knees, or 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 that our doggy position. Okay, we're gonna start by rocking forward and back. Breathe in and then breathe out. Rocking forward and back on your mat. Let's do that a couple more times. One. And two. Beautiful job. Now we're going to make a circle. So we're going to crawl around our arms and our legs in a circle. Go one way. Breathe in. And then exhale as you come and sit back on your feet. Good job. Let's do it again. Moving your head with your body and stretching everything out. And exhale back to your feet. Good job. Let's reverse. Let's go to the other direction. Breathe in. And then come on back to your feet. Exhale. Ha. Breathe in. Just rolling your body, waking everything up. Breathe in. And then we're going to stop right at our feet and just give a giant stretch of our back. And onto our feet to stretch out the top of our feet. Let's come forward and let's do a couple cat and cow. So breathe in and let's look up in cow and let, let's exhale and look down and arch your back into cat. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, look up and exhale Ooh, and look down. And one more time, breathe in and breathe out. Good job. Let's do thread the needle. Let's put one hand up to the sky and we're going to thread the needle right between the middle of our, our hands and our knees. And we're going to put our head down on the, on the mat or you could be using a blanket and let's thread the needle. Feel the stretch in your shoulders, your neck, and your back. And let's do that one more time. Arm goes up, breathe in, and then thread the needle down, curl it under, and lay your side of your head down. Good job. Let's come back up to all fours, and let's do it on the other side. So other arm goes up. You can look at the arm with your head, look at the hand, and then your head follows your hand down under and lay yourself down and just relax. <sighs> this is a good stretch. And one more time. Breathe in and stretch up. Follow your hand with your eyes. Your hand comes down, your eyes watch it, and you come under, threading the needle and resting. Feels so good. Now let's come back to all fours, and we're gonna lift our one arm up, and then we're gonna set it down gently, and then we're gonna lift our other arm up, and set it down, and now we're gonna lift one leg up, and set it down, and the other leg up. And set it down. Now we're gonna lift the opposite arm and leg up. So let's start with this arm, which is my right arm and my left leg, and we're gonna hold it for five seconds. Or let's say two breaths. Breathe in. And one more, breathe in and set it down. And let's do the opposite side. So this time it's my left arm and my right leg and hold it, two breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Well, let's, com let's complete that pattern a couple more times. Ready? Each one takes one breath. Breathe in, and then breathe out and set it down gently. 
Let's do the other side. Breathe in. And let's set it down gently. And one more set. Breathe in. And set it down gently. Exhale. And one more. Breathe in. Beautiful job keeping your hips quiet. Keeping your body in that box position when you land. There's that box or, or dog position. Good job. Now we're going to do gate pose, which I know you know. So this one, you can have the option of using a brick. If you don't have a brick, you could use a couple pillows like this. You put your hand on the pillow. So I'm going to show the pillow, then I'll do the brick. So we're going to start with our body in the gate pose like this. Okay. One leg is out, one knee is straight down under your hips. Put your hand on the pillow and just tip. And the option is to lift your gait. Ding, 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 ding. Holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. Good job, set it down, breathe in, and exhale up. Nice work, let's do that one more time. This time I'll do it with the brick in case some of you have yoga bricks. Take our yoga brick. And put it right like this so it'll come under your shoulder this leg is out this arm is up and you can adjust it i'm going to adjust mine like this and if you want to come down a little you'll be able to get your leg up higher hold it breathe in hold it come down breathe in and exhale to come back up beautiful job let's do it on the other side take your brick and put it on this side Take your leg and put it out here. Okay, arm out to the side, lean over, and you can decide what angle you want your brick. Bring you all the way down, and maybe not even a brick. Mom can help you with this. Hold your hold your gait. Ding 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 ding. Breathe in, exhale, and push off that knee and hold the position. We're going to do that one more time. This is going to strengthen the core, all the muscles in your tummy, your shoulders, and your back. Here we go. Breathe in. Tip down. Leg comes up. Hold it. Ding, 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 ding. Option to look at your hand. Option to look at your other hand. Or look straight ahead. And ready. Breathe in. Exhale and come up. Beautiful job. Let's go into camel. Camel, we're in tall kneeling. We're going to put our hands like this, open hands on our, right on our low back, and we're just going to look up at the sky. Look up. Good job. And now we're going to come into rabbit. We're going to put our head down. We're going to hold our feet. We're going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good job. Now take your hands by your back again. Use your tummy muscles to come up. Chin goes up to the sky, nose goes up to the sky, breathe in, and exhale, <sighs> slowly, slowly, slowly guide your head down, and let's wiggle our little bunny tail, grab your feet, and wiggle, 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 sit back on your feet, you can bring your knees apart, take your brick, put your hands on your brick, and just push it away and feel a good stretch, all the way down your back, through your feet. Nice job. Now we're going to go into plank. So we're going to put our hands on our mat. We're going to put our feet behind. And we're just going to lift up like this. And just hold it. An option is to come down on your forearms and hold plank. So you can pick which one. So down on your forearms or up on your hands into plank. Let's just move our plank a little. Can we rock our plank and stretch out our feet a little bit? Good job. All right, now put your knees down, and we're going to go into downward facing dog. So our hands are here. Another option, if you have two bricks, and this is a little bit of a challenge, you can put one hand on each brick, and you can lift up your dog like this. Hands on the brick, downward facing dog. You can rock your dog into plank, into dog, into plank, into dog, into plank, into dog. Let's walk our feet to the brick or our pillows. Put your hands on the brick. 
hang in ragdoll. Just sort of like let yourself be loose, 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 loose. Stretch everything out. Stretch it out. Now we're just going to roll up slowly, 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 slowly into mountain. Mm -hmm. That is yoga too. Thank you. See you for yoga three.